So we're here in a Victorian terrace in the eastern suburbs. I was invited here to design this room and the furniture to create a special room, slightly formal, for a special occasion. And we decided to combine the Empire, some Louis XV, and I'd love you to have a look at the details with me. The starting point were actually those pictures, which are neoclassical, Greek motifs in black and gold. I thought it would be an excellent starting point because the black and the gold are so traditional, formal and rich. The black has a way of counteracting with the gold in the sense of both highlighting it and giving it a slightly restrained, almost austere quality to it. So I designed the site server to essentially create a whole story on that wall, knowing that the pictures above them would really match well with it. And those two lamps, again, black and gold. The parquet table was one of my first pieces that I designed and that I used to make myself in the early days. It's such a strong statement of the French provincial and to put it amongst more formal settings highlights its friendly, provincial and slightly casual quality. The cream damask curtains, again almost a signature piece of semi-formal French interior, are there to balance out the strength of the black, the richness of the gold, and the warmth and depth of the cherry wood. We needed to have something that allowed for storage here, so I designed a Louis XVI piece that has a more restrained classical line and elegance that counterbalances the richness of the shapes of the Louis XV table and chairs. I recommended for it to be painted in the traditional Louis XVI style, grey with a moulding and detail highlighted in cream. The chandelier was sourced from Spain after a lot of research to find something that had the gold and the black. Essentially, a chandelier is, as it were, the crowning of a room. Combining the clean modern lines and the curves of the Louis XV and the French Provincial creates a wonderful tension in the room and it brings it alive. And here the soft colours just picked up by the grey create a wonderful, calm yet inviting, elegant yet casual atmosphere. One of the great things about this very modern kitchen is that again it is flooded with light. On a marble travertine floor, the furniture has been selected so that it doesn't contrast too starkly with the clean, light, modern lines. And one can see how well a piece of traditional carved and very scalloped shape can go very well within a modern context. In the same room, going towards the back garden, an alcove is present. I always feel that alcoves are very important as they're often a place to sit, have coffee, read the paper and enjoy the view. These are the traditional Louis XV bergeres. For this bedroom, I designed the furniture to create a soft and inviting French feel. The sleigh bed has upholstered panels to give it a lighter look and feel. The contrast between wood and upholstery enhances both the curved shapes of the timber and the feeling of comfort that the cream upholstery gives. Next to the sleigh bed, a Louis XV bedside and a beautiful salon chair. The top of the salon chair has that very strong Louis XV scalloping with an almost joyful feeling. It's as if the shape of the wood dances on the chair. 
The salon chair is covered in a linen damask fabric. The chest of drawers again matches the bedsides and the shapes of the sleigh bed. One of the interesting things on the bedspread is that the fabric has a geometrical damask. And what that geometry does is that it gives a sense of structure to the flowing shapes of the Louis XV furniture. And here is another great house on Sydney Harbour. This architect designed house was designed and built in the French style. You can see this reflected in the shapes and the colours, even down to the Roman roof tiles which were brought in from France. One of the unique things about the tiles is that they were from three or four colour batches that were mixed, which is a very important element. This is because as they weather in France, the handmade original tiles aged differently. Here the colour goes from an almost off-white to a ready brown colour. The courtyard, with its cobblestone style flagging, again has that feeling of slight unevenness. Each stone is a different size and together with the plants and the benches, they very much recreate that feeling of a French courtyard. Overlooking the Sydney Harbour, a French home, with a curved staircase to remind us of the Louis XV shapes and to welcome us into the atrium. And here, the lounge. Light colours, cream damasks, and the Louis XV day bed, almost a symbol of French provincial, with its large proportions and its comfortable, inviting look. The lounge has very much the feeling of a casual and relaxed elegance. The cream of the fabrics, the richness of the furniture, which goes from mahogany to cherry wood and all the way to walnut, all add to this quiet, inviting feeling. One of the things I like is that it has also very much a lived-in feeling. On one side, it goes out to the courtyard, on the other side, out to the patio, which overlooks the Sydney Harbour. Cherry wood and the other fruit woods were the most used timbers in French provincial furniture and they give a beautiful warmth and they've got a fantastic grain. As you can see I designed this piece in this dining room to give it that sense of richness and lightness. The curves of the Louis XV really showing through on the doors adding that joyful touch. The mixing of the different timbers is a very good way of making sure that a place doesn't look like a furniture showroom. There is a variety in the shades of timber. Overall, the tone all blends together, which is important, and at the same time, there is individual variation. The walls in this room are of Venetian stucco, which is a mix of clay and linseed oil together with pigments. It's hand applied and meticulously sanded with a crackled medium. It retains a silky feel that imparts a unique marble effect without its hardness. And the finish on the wall stays quite soft.
Margaret Holly is not only one of our best Australian painters, she's also a lover of Provence and France in general. And you can see through her painting the richness, the warmth, the conviviality. And she does it beautifully. The idea for the kitchen was to create a French country feel that blends well with the big open spaces. Its country quality was given by this buffet, which I designed and made in oak. I used oak because I wanted to have that slightly more robust and masculine feel. Here we've seen how, in the same house, the informal and the more formal can live together happily, each defining the other and giving within the home, the experience of reflecting the different atmosphere that some occasions demand.